All right. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Hoffman again. It's story time. And I have another story that, to be honest with you, boys and girls, isn't the one I was going to read. This one's kind of a surprise read for me and you. So um, we're going to get started by a prayer. But uh, I wanted you to, to re keep in mind what we talked about last week, if you listened to the story we talked about bullies and how we can pre uh, prevent those kind of things, not only from our end, but for the bullies' end, too. Okay? So let's get started. We're going to say our prayer, and we're going to read a really cool story. I think we'll find out, because I'm just as excited as you are to hear it. Okay? So let's fold our hands and close our eyes. And we say, Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. Help us to love and show we care. Help us to learn, grow, and play, and make you so proud of us every day. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, boys and girls, today's story may not have a lesson to it, but you can keep listening really hard to see if you can find one in there, too. But I think it's just a, a lighthearted little story that we're going to share today. It's called The Right Number of Elephants, and it's a story written by Jeff Shepard. Wow, that's a cool name. Okay, so let's get started. I really like that picture with the elephant and the sunglasses. And it's very sunny today, isn't it, boys and girls? So let's see what it says. If you suddenly need to pull a train out of a tunnel and save everyone on board, then the right number of elephants is... Oh, look in the bush, boys and girls. What do you see there? <laughs> the right number of elephants is 10. Wow, how do they know that? Look at that mess. But they're doing working hard to help these people out. <laughs> But if you just mean to paint the ceiling and there isn't a ladder to be found, then the right number of elephants, what do you think it is, boys and girls? Ah, oh, you could be right. Let's see. Nine. And when you go to the beach with all of your friends on a very warm day, which is going to be today... Let's see, what number's next? You need eight. And you simply must have shade. The right number of elephants is eight. Look at the nice shade they make for all their little friends. But if the sky grows very dark, and it suddenly starts to rain with lightning and thunder as well. Then the right number of elephants is seven. Wow, he almost got struck by that lightning, didn't he? Look at him run. Let's see what comes next. And if you'd like a bit of company on a very deserted street, at a very deserted time of day, then the right number of elephants is six. You want to count them? One, two, three, four, five, six elephants to keep you company so you're not so afraid. And of course, if you just want to impress the neighbors with a quick circus, then the right number of elephants is five. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. That's a mistake. <laughs> and if you're challenged to a race, by a particularly unpleasant person, then the right number of... Uh, 
I see some hiding. Do you see them? <laughs> the right number of elephants is four. Look, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and down they went. They tripped her with their trunks. Wow, what a trick. Look who won the race. But if, there, if it's just a fast game of cards you want, then the right number of elephants is, hmm, I wonder what it could be. I see three elephants in the picture. Let's see. <laughs> three! We were right. Oh, my gosh, they crushed into everything. And if you need a swing... To amuse your little brother. Wow, where are we going to get a swing? Let's see. Then the right number of elephants is two. Look at that. They hooked their trunks together and they made a little swing for the little brother. Can you count them? One, two. They were exactly right. But when you need a very special friend, let's see. For a very special moment, then the right number of elephants is, what do you think? How many trunks do you see? One. Aw, isn't that so cute? And boys and girls, the same goes for us. When you're in a long, dark alley or, or you're, you want some kind of enjoyment or someone to just talk to, who could that be? Well, it could be a friend. And if your friend isn't around, it could be your parents or your guardians. And if they're not around or have time to talk, who else can you talk to besides yourself? You can just close your eyes and talk to God because he's always there to hear what you have to say. He never says, wait a minute, I'll be right with you. He never says, well, just go away, we'll have a chat later. Or I don't have time. God always has time for us boys and girls. We never have to wait. And we can always just close our eyes or even keep them open and say, Thank you, God, for all these beautiful things I'm looking at. And thank you, God, for keeping me safe last night. Or thank you, God, for all the great things that I have in my life. Thank you for all the food that you provide for us. And thank you most of all for giving us your love without us even asking for it. Lord, we're so thankful to you, and we're so glad that you're just around us all the time. We never have to feel lonely. So help us to remember that you are with us and that you're going to keep us safe, but we need to come to you and just be humble. That means don't be a big shot. Just be a nice, calm, kind person and a child of God and say, thank you, Lord. Let's talk. And he is going to listen to everything you have to say. Okay, so your homework for this week, boys and girls, is talk to God. Maybe you could count to ten and talk to him ten times this week. Or you can talk to him ten times in the day. Or you can talk to him one time, however you want to do it. But make sure every day you spend some time with God. If you have a problem, ask him to help you fix it up. And if there's something you're missing, just tell him, I'm missing it. Would you show me where it is? Because you know. And he will. So, boys and girls, your homework is to talk to God as often as you'd like this week. And I hope it's more than one time. And if you want to, you can invite your family or some friends to talk to him with you. And maybe that would help them in their life, too. So, boys and girls, you have a wonderful week. And thank you for listening again, and I hope to see you again soon with maybe that book that I forgot, because you're going to love it. It'll make you laugh.
All right, boys and girls, love you lots, and I will talk to you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.